So that was Mississauga Toyota, where we bought the Supra, which you'll know at this point, <laughs> keeping it a bit of a mystery, but uh, they confirmed that we, the car, the purchase has been finalized. Launch date is Monday the 22nd, and it now is the 20th. Yeah. So two days. They initially had said that we could get the car Tuesday or Wednesday, and then they just called me back now and said that we're gonna be able to get it Monday at three o'clock. So that means we're gonna get it on launch day, we're gonna be able to test it, we're gonna just go have fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we're excited. That's, I think, I don't know, I'm assuming a lot of people are trying to get it on the first day, but um, we're definitely getting it on the launch day for the Supra, which I believe is the global launch for, or maybe just North America. What are we ordering, boys? Something super worthy. Hmm. Oh, they have all-day breakfast? Oh, that sounds like a super meal to me. Oh, oh, there's the Olympia Super! I don't even want pancakes, but I might order that just because it's called the Super. So we all ordered pretty normal meals. And then John... Just because it's a special day. <laughs> Chris ordered the Olympia Super. But Supra. the Olympia Supra, but John got the real Supra, you know. That's that. That's the that's GR. The that's, the launch, that's the launch. That's the launch edition. The that's the Mark IV. Yeah, with oh like built, built two JZ. And then here's the the new Supra. Still good, but it's not legendary. <laughs> we just finished up eating a pretty good meal. Uh, we're gonna be heading up to the dealership right now. We're gonna be picking up our Supra. Hopefully, uh, it's ready. Um, they said it would be ready in about 30 minutes. It's gonna probably take us at least about 15 minutes to get there. Um, really, really excited to pick up a car on launch day. Also, really, really excited to see people's reactions on the streets. Uh, one thing that was, uh, was pretty fun about this whole purchasing experience was how difficult it is to find one of these cars uh, for a launch date. The dealerships are really limited in how much they are getting so they aren't able to sell and the ones that do have it are holding on to stock that they have and choosing not to sell it uh, until at least they get more in or they're marking it up so we were really really lucky to find this car yeah i found a video on youtube a dealership group and they actually sold both to an overseas customer for more than it, more than retail by quite a margin. There clearly is a high demand, not just locally, but outside of the country. We're only getting 300 Toyota Supras for a 20 the 2020 model. If you see one on the road, realize how rare that is. So we're here, Mississauga Toyota, I'm going inside to pick up our new Supra, 2020 Toyota Supra. BMW it Supra. is BMW absolute BMW. zero white. Oh, is that so what the it's name's going called? to match this one, which is not absolute zero white, but it's white. Bunch of car guys here at a dealership picking up a car. Should be a good day. Okay, we're walking in entourage style. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I thought we were going to pick up a BMW. Walk slow motion. For entourage style. No front plate. Hey, you're ready to go. Beautiful. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. All right. Are you excited? Yeah. It's totally awesome. Do you, do you have, is this your copy? Do you, do you want a copy of this? Go. Ask her how much it is. Should we put it down in here? So, I had an X5 before, and that's the exact same key. Except it's lighter. And it says to go to it. At least they chose the nicest shaped BMW key available. I think it suits the car.
Which is interesting because so for, <laughs> for BMW door handles you actually have to pull twice. twice. This one is just once. Just once, yeah. 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 Oh buddy, I'm driving this back, right? Oh yeah, okay. Fits <laughs> you perfectly. Yeah man. For sale? I'll trade you the STI. Make sure you get the Omega on this. Oh yeah, there you go. Wait, wait, wait. High res. Sorry, it's showing up as a Seiko. Okay. Oh, wow. We got the car outside. <laughs> it's beautiful. It looks uh, really nice in person. Yeah. And it when it moves cool. on its own power, it's like, what is happening? Yeah, I've yeah. never seen that before. So it's it's rolled outside of the dealership. Yeah. It's here. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna go do with it. We've already revved it up a bit, got some burbles. Yeah, it has clip. Oh buddy. <laughs> This side has a fairly even bumper gap. Now if we go over to the passenger side, see very clearly that this bumper gap is not even. If you look at this one and then this one right here, yeah. this is what the other side looks like. This is what this So side the bumper gap should be even. Now we brought it up with the dealer and everybody has been super helpful. The owner of the dealership, um, the sales manager, our salesperson, Hitesh, has been really helpful. He brought out the uh, service manager or operations manager I believe is what he referred to him as and he is telling us that this is not adjustable that because of some sort of different materials that this is normal and not adjustable. I don't believe that so we're gonna find out later find out. we've made a note on that um, we might even just try and adjust this ourselves because I'm sure it just is a bracket uh, another thing so far that we found uh, unfortunately on the sill plate on the inside here it's actually dented it's gonna be hard to pick up but it is clearly dented so we've noted that as well so that's gonna have to get replaced but otherwise so far so good it drove outside under its own power tires are inflated engine runs it has a full tank of gas if they were actually really really great helping us yeah uh, and they said that they would do their best to take care of these things yeah, for us. Yeah, he said that'll get replaced, no problem. Yeah. So we're going to go through it even more. We're probably, looks like it might rain out here, so we're probably going to make our way back to the shop, I think. And then we'll go through it, we'll put it up, check everything out, just look for any issues. And yeah, we'll go have some fun. Yeah, maybe get some rollers too. Yeah, we're going to get some rollers. Even before we left the parking lot here, we've already had, like, four or five people come up to us and talk about the car um you know whether it be hey congratulations oh that car's sick yeah he had a guy come up and say not into this car yeah that's funny and it's like oh thanks for <laughs> we just bought it it's just weird to like i mean you can obviously have your own opinion about the car i'm just saying it's weird to go up to somebody and be like it's not for me and that's all he said and he walked away rolling out better in person than it does in pictures so anybody who thinks uh the car looks horrible in pictures just wait till you see it in person it looks much better i think that was uh the effect that all of us had we saw it in person we were like wow the car is very dynamic it has a lot of very like sharp curvy lines uh throughout the car and it's very unique looking like there's no other car really that looks like it right now I find especially now with car designers like moving towards different um, manufacturers uh, like for instance Audi's lead designer moved to Hyundai. I, I just see now that there's uh, a really crazy overlap in design in a lot of the newer cars that come out and it's like oh is that the new Audi? Oh wait that's a Hyundai. Oh is that the new Hyundai? Oh wait that's a Bugatti. Uh, let's go try spur one. Yeah? So we're gonna head over to a mall and uh, we're gonna see what people think about this car. See if, uh, see if it draws any attention.